Having arrived in a risky village late afternoon on July 23rd, we set out early morning on the 24th for a day of hiking and rafting in the Vicos Gorge, said to be the deepest gorge on earth. We were joined again by our two guides from Meteora, the two Demetrius's. Both of them led us on the morning hike, but only one of them rafted with us in the afternoon.
early morning on July 25th, we headed southwest from Aristi to the town of Kasamal, Albania, on the Ionian Sea and what is often called the Albanian Riviera. After an excellent seafood lunch, we made a short drive outside Kasamal to the ancient ruins of Butrint. To some extent, this was just another collection of ruins, but the remarkable thing about this place is that so many different civilizations are represented here. From prehistoric times, through post-Trojan War and Greek times, to the Roman era, the Byzantine era, the Venetian era, and the Ottoman era. And there are ruins still preserved here from each of those eras. I found it very interesting to hear that no further excavations are being done here so as to preserve those already uncovered. On our northward drive to the city of Giracosta, we saw the first of the nearly 200,000 concrete bunkers, or mushrooms, built from the 60s to the 80s to protect the country from U.S. invasion. Giracosta is a well-preserved former Ottoman city and the birthplace of the late communist dictator Anver Hoksha. Giracosta Castle dominates the town and overlooks the strategically important route along the river valley. Built in the 12th century for fortification, Albanian King Zog converted it into a prison for political enemies in the 1930s. Today it is a historical site including an arms museum devoted to the weapons of Albania's independence. Built in 1700, the Skanduli House is one of several very large Ottoman-era homes in Giracosta. Taken by the state in 1981, it was returned to the family with limited ownership rights in 1991. The lower floors of such houses were designed for defense, storage, and stables, while the upper floors were the main living areas, with separate men's and women's quarters. The rooms were leaked by wide corridors and covered balconies. On the morning of July 27th, we drove out into the country to the village of Joksat, 
Actually, Jolksad is not really a village, but a community of homes and farms owned and run by independent occupants of the area. The particular home and farm we visited was owned by a Mr. Londi, who lives there with his wife, mother-in-law, and two children. After dinner, we visited a home where we were served home-roasted, ground, and brewed coffee, and where an older lady told our fortunes by reading the remains in the coffee cups. My future has already fallen short of her predictions. Mm -hmm. 